right there. How's it going, guys? It's your boy, Token Vaping. So today's juice review is coming from Kentucky. It's a gentleman that I've had the pleasure of talking to on Instagram a little bit. Um, I just re recently received this line for the purpose of this review. I was suggested to reach out to this gentleman uh, by another friend of mine. And so far, everything that I've heard from, uh, from the maker, the man behind the scenes, I'm really impressed with. Um, I've become a big fan of his message and what he's trying to do with his line. So without further ado, I'm going to jump right into this. And we're going to go ahead and do the first, the vape first. I'll show you the clouds on it and then I'll give you the little bit of description behind the scenes on where you can go to contact this if you want to try out this line. So the line itself is called Midway Vapors. And that's it right there. It's a simplistic bottle, simple logo, has a an O to the American flag basically kind of on it. Um, real simple. He's not worried about the label. Doesn't care how fancy it is. Doesn't care how extravagant it is. It's not what's on the label that counts to him. It's what's in the bottle and what he stands for. That's really respectful. So as you can see, there is a safety ring right here. It is a first fit, first review. We'll be going on some fresh cotton that I just put up for you guys right here, as you can see. But this doesn't want to focus for me. But it is brand new. And as always, I do have to give a shout out for my cotton. If I can find a sheet. Texas Tough Cotton. Just, I really, really love it. Works really well for me. I've been using it for, for over a year now. Little to no break in time. That's the selling point for me. I like the fact that I can put it in into whatever I'm using and I get almost full flavor right off the bat. So that link will be in the comment box and I'll go ahead, if you guys ever have any questions about it, shoot me a message, let me know and I'll get you set up for that. So the first flavor of this line that I'm going to be doing the review on is Pina Colada. I am a fan of coconut, so it'll be interesting to see. I've had a few pina coladas before, non-alcoholic uh, for myself. So we will check this out and see how refreshing this is. It has a nice coconut smell to it. Um, and it's a little bit on the fruitier side, which I like because I've had a lot of flavors that have coconut in them. And honestly, when I smell it, what do I think of? Suntan lotion. Um, this I do not get that with. So that's already a good plus in my book for testing this. Now, pina colada, I'm hoping that this definitely has more of the drink style, the, the citrusy fruity side kick to it as well as the coconut. And I'm hoping that you t I can taste the coconut, but not that making it the only thing that I taste. Now I do realize everybody has different taste preferences. Everybody has different sensitivity to flavors. You know, so we will see what I get out of this. I will let you know, and then you can decide from there if it's something you might want to try. Like I said, I've heard a lot of good things about this gentleman and his line. It was, again, I was referred to it by a friend of mine, Vaping Hot. Uh, shout out to her. She's been a, a follower and friend of mine for a while. And I just definitely reached out to him, and he's just real down to earth, a real simple guy. You know, but he knows what he wants to do. He knows what he's what he's striving for, and he knows what he's not going to settle for anything less for. So I have to give him a, a huge, huge respect prop for that. So we're going to go ahead and get this vaping. And as always, I'm vaping at 75 watts. And this is Pina Colada from Midway Vapors. Okay, so I'm starting to get some flavor in there, and I'm going to go ahead and do a quick redrip. And all this is for is just to make sure that whatever the flavor is supposed to be, that I'm getting as much of it as possible since it was fresh caught. I don't want to misinform anybody, and I don't want to leave out anything, because there have been times, you know, you try a flavor, and your first one or two hits of it, you're like, eh, you know, it's not really for me. And then somebody makes you sit down and try it a little bit further, and then the flavor fully starts to take effect, and then you're like, oh, wow, that's amazing. So I'm just doing this just to make sure that I'm not missing out anything on the flavor so that I can inform you of everything that I taste.
Okay, so pina colada definitely has a really nice undertone of coconut. I mean, you definitely do taste it. It is it is there and it's strong enough to taste, but it's not overpowering and it doesn't overtake the entire flavor. Now there is a nice little bit of a citric uh, kick to it. It's not a specific citrus in my opinion, but it gives you the reminiscence of the actual drink so that the main flavor you do taste is the coconut, but there is a nice little citrus spritz, so to speak, you could say uh, to that so that it does give it a little bit more of a kick to it other than just coconut. Now, it is a 75-25 mix ratio, and it does state that on the bottle right there, along with the nicotine level, and these are available in a 0, 3, and a 6, and in 60 ml unicorn sized bottles. So they're really easy to transport, really easy to carry around, um, real convenient in that sense. Now, because it is a pina colada, it is a much lighter flavor than a lot of normal flavors that people will, will vape, especially for me. I am a huge custard and dessert flavor uh, vapor. So anything that is lighter than that, whether it's a drink, an aid, um, like a uh, just more of a, of a drink style or citrusy uh, drink, it's going to feel a bit harsher for me on, on the throat hit. It's not anything against the company. It's not anything negative in my, my opinion. It's just the fact that I'm so used to vaping the heartier heavier flavors anything lighter i'm gonna i automatically feel like there is a bit of a throat hit now in this particular one because it is a citrus drink it is a much lighter flavor to begin with so it does have a very slight throat hit now it is not enough to kill the deal if you're looking for something lighter especially on a hot day if you're looking for a more refreshing type vape I just need to tell you that there is, and from what I get out of it, there is a slight throat hit. So if you are completely against it, I just want to forewarn you of that. Now, I have had ones that were way harsher. This is not harsh, but it does it does hit you in the throat. But again, not to sound like a repetitive broken record, it, a lot of it has to do with the fact that it is a really light flavor. It's meant to be more of a, a little uh, summer drink style type thing. But... As I stated, it does have the mix ratio on the back right there, which is a 75-25. If this will focus for me, there we go. There is the nicotine. It does have the warning label, and it does have the ingredients and all the other additional warnings and labeling that is needed. You can check that out on Instagram. It's under his page. It's Doc underscore Cheatham, C-H-E-A-T-H-A-M, D-O-C. Um, and you, he also has a Facebook page, which is under Midway Vapors LLC. So definitely check him out on both of those. You can email him directly as well. He is pretty quick to respond. Never, never will leave somebody hanging, especially if they're interested in wanting to try out this line. So definitely give that a shout out to them. Give them some support. Show them some love. Mr. Cheatham, thank you so much for the opportunity to review this line. I do look forward to trying your other flavors. There are a couple that I was interested in that I had told you about. Vaping Hot, thank you for the suggestion on this. Real great down-to-earth guy. Real great company so far that I can tell. Hopefully nothing but pros prosperity and um, good fortune for him in, in all the, the, the years to come. As always, guys, I'm Token Vaping. I'm here on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, and Pinterest. Anything that I can do myself to help further enhance your vaping experience and make it more enjoyable for you, it's the only reason why I, I do this. So definitely reach out to me and let me know if you have any questions, comments, concerns, um, a particular video that you'd like to see done. I will do everything in my power to try to make that happen for you. But until next time, as always, I am so humbled and honored that you guys take a moment to watch my video reviews. Always truly love yourself. Vape on, vape strong. Have a good one, guys.